Okay, so that totally goes to the sarcophagus. Like that, those things connect to like the sides of it. So I need to do this first, then I can lower this to deal with that. You are probably something else. And you probably open up. When I get something in there, maybe? Maybe it shines across the room. Oh, there we go. I was like, how do I get in here if I can't get line of sight? I had the porter pull the sarcophagus from the storage again tonight, hoping for a breakthrough. The imaginary seems to relate to a practice... Sorry, the imagery seems to relate to a practice of taking devout followers with them to another life. They believe this rite could trap and contain their souls, but their hieroglyphs don't follow any known lexicon. It makes no sense. Okay. Eh. Nope, it's not, not, not that kind of game. I've gotten into the habit of throwing stuff. It's kind of fun when there's no consequences. You're like, oh, what's that? An object? Flip. We call it we call it Ernest Kleining. There's something going on. Part of the test is going to be figuring out what I can interact with. In a PC game, I just go click 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 trying to find the thing that moves. But now it's like I have to awkwardly stroke the items like a weirdo, and you guys wonder what I'm up to. Nope. Not yet. Yeah, it's a, it's a lion lady. Can I look at that stuff? I'm kind of stuck on this position within the reason of my ability to walk around. Yeah. There's hieroglyphic wall carvings. Oh, don't just come out and explain it. Guys, I already figured this all out. You don't have to explain that. That's unnecessary. Dang it. Yep. I was inside of a table. It, it happens. Can you give me that, please? I think I need that. We have a lot of cupboards around here that don't seem to have move, moving drawers. Bunch of books in there. It's all dusty. Alright, let's take a look. There's some scuffs and marks. He waits at the temple. Oh, it's one of these again. Probably not good, right? Let's get re-centered real quick. What did I do? Find him at the beginning. Was I supposed to have done something? I can't move around while I'm holding this. No, it's just showing that he did the sarcophagus. They're kind of just explaining things that are pretty intuitive about the situation. Kind of like how this was an explanation of how to get the stuff out of there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get it, buddy. That's like the whole thing I want to do. What can I actually do around here? Ooh, what's that? Oh! This is where we... okay. Okay. Do we have any hexagons? And then I can probably open that. Okay, so it looks like it stays here though. That's good. Something goes here. What's up with that?
Hmm. So I believe I have nothing. Cool. We really need to start actually making some kind of progress here. What is my first piece of progress going to be? That spot, that spot, that spot. Some books, lots of books. Under the table, nothing there. Don't scroll that around. Still have some shit going on. They circled Anubis, as I would have figured. Sarcophagus is inside. I can just reach it. And here's where it says, find him at the beginning. I grab that. I don't have to find anything to put on these. These are just the cogs that make this thing move. When it's set to that one, you go up and that comes down. If it's set to this one, then the door sh Okay. It looked like there's so much open space, I thought I had to fill a mechanism in there, but not so much. Here's the issue. Never mind. So you are a counterweight. Oops. You are a weight I have to worry about, but you don't pull back when I let go. Good to know. Go ahead and put you back then. Because that's what we're going to be doing afterwards. And here I was looking for, like, pieces and components to use. Are those gonna lock in place right there? Hit! There we go. These little hooks. I thought I had to go find some of those components that were being mentioned, but not yet. Something goes there. Something goes there, something comes out of there. This guy's got his face removed. Possibly because they were removing him from history. The porter was back, asking about my progress. A curious fellow. He seemed almost amused that I couldn't crack the code. He gave me a parcel, said it had been left for me in the past room, in the post room. Inside was an odd looking lens, along with a note that said the lens would help me in my work. Goodness knows how, but at this point I'm willing to try anything. A brass weight. See, that's the, this the problem you got there is you got a baboon head. And it's not supposed to have it's not supposed to have that. You're supposed to do that. Nope. Oh. You realize the box over there it seems to be smoking. That's uh, I don't really want to breathe that in, but, I, but I'm still going to come over here and make mistakes, because that's what I do. First of all, damn it. There we go. It's a honeycomb from Banjo Kazooie! <gasps> I just got an extra heart! But it's like, so they're honeycombs, but you know what I mean? Zelda terms. Oop. Yeah? <gasps> Mine. Some kind of Egyptian tool. Specifically Egyptian? Was this used to get the brain out? It looks like, like it's supposed to script the brain out. Do you script the brain out? Hmm. Where do I need to stick up something? Is it over here? 
No. Hmm. Maybe not for now. There we go. This lens looks like it will fit my eyepiece. It also looks like a smoking hazard. And a lot of other health problems, like being cursed. An eyepiece lens. <laughs> I punched myself in the face. Because the, uh, the VR headset sticks out way further than uh, you think it does. And so like, I'm on, like, on my way towards my head to gesture and I just stick bonk. Then I'm very smart. Use the eyepiece. Open the inventory and pull the highlighted tab to put on the eyepiece. Or I can just use, press the button for it, right? Hello. Use the new lens to reveal secrets behind shimmering surfaces. Ah, so we can just see that. Okay, so we can see through things now. It's kind of a big deal. But only some things. Like a tent? And another, another shrugging thing. Everyone's like, what do you want from me? Can I take anything from here? No, because it, it's, it's behind the surface, so... Yeah. Let me open it. Oh! A little unexpected. Uh... Okay. House, 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 house. Does that mean you? Eh. Okay, now I'm reaching. How am I doing that? House, 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 house. I physically reached through with my finger past the surface that was physical. So the lens gives you all sorts of powers. So you go to that. And we need to find out what the vase correlates with. Obviously I could just try them all, but you know, who doesn't want to like find solutions for things yourself? Interaction spots. So this is still locked because there's two there's clasps on the sides. Hmm. Triangle and Insects need to be correlated with things. This whole circuit just has a lot going on with it. I'm probably going to be taking periodic breaks that are more frequent than episode durations would be because, honestly, uh, with my glasses, uh, the headset kind of hurts after like 20 minutes. I have ordered prescription lenses for the VR headset though, so that should, that'll hopefully go away. This puts a lot of weight on my glasses, which I unfortunately have to wear under my VR headset. I was really disappointed by that. I really hoped that you'd be able to... Because I'm nearsighted, I thought that I'd be able to just use my eyes. Hello. And stab, 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 and ceremonial dagger. What's up with that? Hmm? What's up with you? What do you mean? I've got a dagger. That's useful. In fact, it might be supposed to go right here. You killed that puzzle box. He's dead. Oh. Well. Got a little screw right there. You might go here. No. No.
Hmm. Bloop. Get back to you in a minute. I bet you fit somewhere. Where do you go? Because that spot looks a little weird. I seemingly need a heart for that. I got a cylinder and a little chisel. Does it just go right here? I think I already tried this, didn't I? Yeah. Hmm. It looks like a little chisel, but it also looks like it might just be used for like taking out the brain. Just scrape that shit out. Hello. Kind of. What have I done? Can I move these? Not exactly. Are you open now? Maybe. Ah! Big moves. A tool with distinctly shaped head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's an onk. It's got an onk on the end. Free to poke into somewhere. Stuck. An engraved stone disc with a scarab beetle on it. So that's not going to move until I can figure out how to rotate that. <laughs> I like the physicality of it, where you're just like, eh, eh, come on. Just those little details that make them feel like they're real. How about you? You look like you'd fit here. What happened? Oh. Changed. I shook my head enough that the lens changed sizes, apparently. What just happened? Oh, that's what... Hmm. You're supposed to be all green, and you're supposed to be all blue. Or, you're supposed to be all green, you're supposed to be all red. I doubt it'll be that easy, but okay. Or maybe it will be that easy. Ta-da! Uh, uh, uh. What's moving? Oh! Hello. Oh, gonna get a mummy curse. This is how one of my first D&D characters died. Mummy rot. Don't do this. But also do it. Can I open it? Oh. You're four. Gotta latch that shit on. Like working on a car or something, isn't it? Yep, definitely gonna get mummy rot. Just breathe it in. I did not think you were going to just grab his face, but cool. You can do the Oh. Got to figure out all those. Oop. 
All right, I'm just stealing things now from the dead. Oh. Oh. Oh wait, line them all up now. Yeah. Oh. Hi. I'm gonna put you back. Nope, it's in my body now. Just how it do. How about you? Nope, you're pretty stuck in the oh. M house. Anybody need an orb? No? Alright, back to it. So we just found this thing. Also that thing. This one's a little weird. We have a ball socket. Oh! Oh, I want to look for like eight things. You put it in like that and then turn it. Alright, so you got a pretty clear circular indentation on at least one of these sides. Huh. Oh, that's probably the grip. So that's probably the connection. Because it looks like a connection. We're not getting that sword back. Nope. So that points to house. I can still see it smoking over there. Where is a symbol that we're still missing? Wrap it. Say dog me. Eh? Rabbit, dog, cat. Eh? Headless nightmare? Headless nightmare it is. Okay. You're just not interactive, are you? And animals and human poses. And this other one that seems to not do anything yet. Ah. M and house. So we saw those over there. Over there. But they wouldn't move up and down. And I believe that one thing was the only thing we're going to get there. So my priority, I think, is to figure out you. The animal situation. Oh. Hello. Bird fly. The damsel fly or something? Maybe? I believe it was you? Yeah, the two legs spread out, so that's like an, an, an egret. It doesn't look quite the same, but it looks similar. No luck with this thing. Looking for a jug. I want to correlate a jug with something and a triangle. A triangle. There was a triangle on the first puzzle box at the beginning. There's a triangle here. Like that, looks like that, and this is a triangle, so... Oh. You weren't, that's not a triangle. That's like an empty socket that something has to be put on. So we can't move that one. So have I missed something? I mean, yes, always. That's how these work. But what have I missed? Eagle? I specifically want to correlate a jug. 
which I'm not seeing here. Sorry, my paranoia is taking over. Yes, we're recording. I hate not being able to, you don't understand how often I look over to see if we're currently recording when I'm recording because I've had things just not work in the past. That's a lot of symbols, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to input it anywhere. For our purposes now, at least, there is no jug there. There's a lot of tentacles. Hmm. Okay, not yet. Wait, did something change? Do I have to do something at the same time? Do I push it at the same time? <laughs> Just kind of having my funny realization of like, oh right, I have two hands. I'm sure I have to use both hands at some point. Gave me a parcel, said it had been left for me in the post room, and said it was an odd looking lens. I mean, we've already been through that. Can I change the page on this? No? Can't go back to there. We're done with that location. Hmm. I noticed that these have like a similar number of spokes, but that doesn't seem especially relevant. Folks. Yep. Hey, two for one. Having a little trouble grabbing things from this menu. There you go. You, you technically have to point at them. What's up here? To use my, you just kind of touch it. Okay, I don't really like grab it. Ta-da! Ta-da! We have like half, yep, half of a gilded scarab. Oh, it's not a heart. It's a scarab. Thought it was gonna be like a beating heart. These guys. Ooh, hi. Two of these tiles. Want to see a magic trick? <laughs> just do that. It just overemphasize it every single time. Night after night, I return when all these ignorant fools have gone home. The lens has opened my eyes. I can't believe I was once as blind as them. This work is hard. My tiredness has become a distraction. I'm starting to hear things, whispers, voices, always loudest near the coffin.